volume of prisms. So we just looked at the surface area of prisms, which is all the outside areas added together of a 3D shape. And the volume is the space inside a 3D shape. Let's have a look at a rectangular prism. So to find the volume of any prism, we need to pick two areas that are going to be the same. So in this case, we can pick the front and the back, or we could pick the right and the left, or we could pick the top and the bottom. But for this case, we're going to use the front and the back. So let's put some measurements on here. So eight meters, 10 meters, and two meters. And it's going to be the areas, the area of one of those faces that's the same multiplied by the distance in between those areas. So we can write that like this. The volume of any prism is going to be an area that's the same on either side multiplied by the distance between them. So the area of one of those faces is going to be 8 by 2 times the distance between those areas that are the same, which is 10. So the area of the front is 8 by 2 multiplied by the distance between them, which is 10. 8 times 2 is 16 times 10 is 160 meters cubed. And because we're doing volume in three dimensions, we need to make sure our units are cubed. Let's look at a triangular prism. Draw that again. Okay, this time it's going to be a little bit different because we only have one pair of faces that are the same and that's this triangle at the front and this triangle at the back. So when we have our formula for volume, we know it's an area that's the same at the front and back times the distance between those areas. So let's put some measurements there. So we've got three meters, four meters, seven meters, and five meters. So it's the area of this, the same at the front and the back. So in this case, it's a triangle. So we're gonna need half of the base times the height for the area times the distance between them. So it's a half times the base of the triangle is three and the height is four times the distance between those two areas that are the same which is this one here, which is seven. So we're gonna get a half times, three times four is 12. Then we can do the, we'll do a half times 12 is six. And finally, six times seven is 42 meters cubed for the volume. Thank you.